Throughout the many years, we have seen very different views on imperialism in movies. Everything from the age-old classic Ben-Hur to the global phenomenon Star Wars. All of these movies have something in common. Whether it be the weak hero standing up for true justice, or an entire people demanding freedom. The thing they have in common is that the Empire is always portrayed as the villains and antagonists of the peace. But why is that? Why do we associate imperialism and colonialism with villainy in movies? How is imperialism represented, and why is it represented in this way? But most importantly, why do we side with the natives? How is imperialism represented in movies? The biggest change is not necessarily the change in movies, but the change in society. One of the biggest empires in all of history is the British. The earlier days in movies, they were always represented very positively, as seen in a lot of the James Bond movies, and especially Lawrence of Arabia. But later on, in our age, they somehow turned bad, as seen in Pirates of the Caribbean and other media. English colonialism has been looked down upon and just colonialism in general. But why is that? The filmmaking hasn't changed. It's because of the society. If we take the movie Lawrence of Arabia, we can clearly see how our hero Lawrence is portrayed as the hero. He's wearing white and he is our main character and British. However, everything around him, all of the antagonists, are in black they don't conceal their weapons like Lawrence does. We clearly get the idea that Lawrence is the hero. But as we know from history, in this age the British Empire wasn't as heroic. They just ended up sharing the parts of the country between them and the French. They weren't real heroes, at least in a lot of people's eyes. But still, they're represented as heroes in the movie. If we look at the movie Gandhi and apply the same rules and ideas, we can clearly see the difference. Gandhi was made in 1982. A lot of things have changed and a lot of colonized people have been vocal. More attention has been drawn to them. Therefore, it's only natural that they get more attention in the movies. Now if we look at the scene from Gandhi, we can clearly see the roles are reversed. Gandhi is wearing white and he acts more confident. He acts with joy and the people around him love him while they hate the English oppressors. This is due to the change in society. The reason for th this change is that the media and all of these movies have changed over time. Not just filmmaking, but the stories about the oppressed, the stories about colonialism, all of these things, they have changed over time and that is why the view has changed. That is why the oppressed are represented as heroes.